everyone, thanks for checking out my channel, Dance Music Tutorials. So in this video, what I want to do is show you how to create a really cool bass sound with some compression that has been sidechained um, to the bass line. So um, what I'm going to do is first show you um, what mine sounds like, and then I'll show you how I actually got to that point. So let me go ahead and play it. going in and out against the, um, the kick drum. So if I was to mute the Paris House Remix kit, now watch what happens when I unmute it. show you how I did that now. Um, first thing you got to do is just create a straight kick drum like I did here. Just a straight kick drum. I happen to really like the Paris House Remix kit. I think it sounds really cool. So, um, so I went ahead and rolled with that. So, um, The analog warm bass sound is the sound right here. track in the piano roll, you'll see it's just um, notes that have been stretched out, or that are legato, right? So they start and they go all the way from one point to the other. The next note comes in and it starts where the other note dropped off, and then it ends, and then the next note also starts where the last note stops, as you can see here, and then it just ends right here, and then it loops around. Once you have those two elements in your song, your bass line sound that have been stretched out, now it's really important, they have to be stretched out, otherwise it won't work right. So make sure you do that. Um, and your kick drum, then you can actually go ahead and start setting it up. So if you go to your, um, your bass sound that you use, and um, just go to inserts, and just hold down your left mouse button, select dynamics, select compressor, and I did mine in stereo. Okay, let me open that up. And so this is what it looks like. All right. Just go ahead and set this up just how I have mine. Actually, we'll go over the settings in a minute, but just select compre the compressor for now. Then what you want to do is go into your environment. And what I did earlier was I went ahead and just soloed these two tracks so they'd be you know, easy to see and they would stand out. Um, for this demo purpose. So um, next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is just go over to my uh, my, my drum kit, which is the, uh, the Paris House Remix kit, and I'm going to hold down my left mouse button um, right on, under where it says Sends, and then I'm going to click uh, go down to Bus actually, and I chose Bus 10 just because drums usually come on 10, uh, channel 10, and that would be an easy way for me to you know remember where it was. So just select whichever one you want. I'm selecting 10 for mine. Um, once you do that, um, it actually creates um, an auxiliary track down here, as you can see, auxiliary three. 
okay, plus 10. So um, you're actually almost done at this point. Then there's this little um, knob right here, which is the actual um, value or how much you want to actually send. Uh, I just went ahead and said send it all, so plus 6.0. Um, the next thing you want to do is once you do that is go back to your compressor um, on, your, on your bass sound under inserts. Go ahead and open it up. And then on the side chain section at the top, just click the drop down arrow and select bus 10. Now what that does is it actually takes the signal from the kick drum and passes it through to your bass line sound, which gives you this. So the settings that I'm using right now to make it fade in and out against the bass drum, I'll just go over them with you guys real quick. Um, I use the circuit type was platinum, and um, for the attack, as you can see, it's 0, 0.0 ms, right? Ratio is 4.41, um, knee is 0 0.7, the release is 45.0 ms. Um, the compressor threshold is a negative 43.5 dBs, and the RMS button has been switched to on. The auto gain um, is at uh, actually 0 dBs, um, but the gain is at 0 0.5 dBs, and the limiter threshold is set to 0, 0.0 dBs, and it's clicked on. So, um, and the uh, sidechain detection is on max. So that is the setup that I'm using um, to create this bass sound against the kick drum. And you can play around with this and get less or more. So that's a quick demo on how I made a cool bass line sound using the side chain. Um, I hope that this will be helpful to you guys. Um, and if you have any questions, comments, uh, please let me know. Um, please subscribe. I appreciate everyone out there. Um, you guys are awesome. Thanks for all your support. Um, it really means a lot to me. And uh, keep watching my videos and subscribing. Y'all have a good one. Thanks.